for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Now Golden State's starting five. Up front, it's Green at the four with Jackson Davis at the five. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry in heel. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. And for Brooklyn, the guard pair, Schroeder and Thomas. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there at Bogdanovich. And it's Claxton in at the center position. Well, Greg, we this go. matchup features two teams that want to slow things down and run their offense in the half. Yeah, both sides are methodical. They want to get into their sets and create quality looks and also have floor balance. I'd be surprised if we see a ton of fast break opportunities tonight. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Pat Donovich wide open. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. For the position he plays, Bogdanovich good at directing traffic, creating chances to score. Here's Curry. Claxton with the steal. Here's Schroeder. To the paint. Here's Finney Smith. And finish off by Finney Smith. Well, a definite strength of Schroeder seems to have a knack for knowing when to get rid of that ball. Curry against Schroeder. Curry looking around. The 17-footer goes down. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Here's Thomas. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one is on heel. Cam Thomas was the 27th pick in the 2021 NBA Draft GA. I think a lot of teams, wouldn't you agree, are regretting passing on him. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe that he fell all the way to the end of the first round. Lots of teams would love to have a scorer a like break. him on their roster. Two shots. That's good from Thomas. Greg, since reaching five consecutive NBA Finals, the Warriors have missed the playoffs three of the past five years. And to be fair, uh, they did go 46 and 36 last season. They were 10 games over 500 last year. So they weren't a bad team, but Golden State doesn't just expect to be in the play in, they want to be a contender. And both free throws good for Thomas. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Curry passes to Green. Higgins outside. It's up a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, right now, helping the offense out by creating space. Andrew Wiggins deadly enough from that spot. Finney Smith kicks to Bogdanovich. A three-pointer is right on target. Bogdanovich has got five points so far. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Here's Heald. Goes up on the wing. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. The Warriors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Outside Curry. Shoots over Schroeder. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And a little luck that time, but it drops. He's got five. Wiggins making quick decisions with the ball, not wasting any time getting that shot off. Schroeder against Curry. 
Outside, Bogdanovich. Shoots the three. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Curry. Golden State moving it around. Lock at six. Wiggins finds Jackson Davis. Over Claxton. Jackson Davis can't get it to go. Nets leading by three. Now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with head coach Jordy Fernandez. We talked about a lot of things, including how to try and slow down Steph Curry. He said it's the usual stuff. You can't go under screens. You have to contest without fouling. You have to recognize he will put the ball on the floor and drive if you overplay him. That's a lot to account for, guys. Thank you, David. Now here's Curry. And it's good. Two points. That's tremendous balance. Steph's ability to keep his composure in that tough situation, work in a tight space. That's impressive. Here's Thomas. Overhealed. That's good for Thomas on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists now in this one. Curry passes to Wiggins. To the middle, here's Jackson Davis. And Wiggins is a capable passer, someone that wants to hit a guy in the right spot. The Nets with the lead. Pass to Claxton. Now, here's Thomas. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. No good on the three. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. <laughs> he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Schroeder with the ball. He has yet to score. Outside, Bogdanovich launches it. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got four assists in the game. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. The recent history of the Nets. You know, Greg, they're always looking for a big splash or a quick fix to be competitive. And, Kevin, this franchise has sold its future more than a few times. But, but they always find a way to bounce back. You hope they don't go for a quick fix with this group. First free throw is good. It seems likely that the Warriors' title run under Steph Curry, Brent, has probably come to a close. Yeah, I'm not going to count Steph Curry out quite yet, Kevin, but, you know, they have added some quality youngsters. They're trying to grow that group. How fast can they bring those kids along to championship caliber players? That's the big question. They're going to win their share of games. Buddy Heel just has such an incredibly quick trigger. Bogdanovich with a screen on Curry. It's Schroeder with the drive. The Nets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Since moving back to Brooklyn in 2012, the Nets, Greg, have won just two playoff series. Just think about the all-stars they've had. KG, Pierce, Durant, Kyrie, Harden. I could name more. The, the Nets just haven't been able to put it together. Schroeder hits them both. Here's Curry. Outside, Green. Healed against Thomas. Puts up a deep three. A second chance effort. And the rejection by Claxton. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block.
Curry passes to Green. Six on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It's on Dennis Schroeder. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Brooklyn. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. Free throw good, Curry. What you appreciate most about Curry is his confidence, especially when it comes to how far he can connect from. The second free throw, good. With so many years in the NBA, you would think Curry would slow down, wouldn't you, Brent? But he remains at the very top of his game. I think the best part about what we're seeing with Steph right now, Kevin, is his competitive will. You get to this age, and you get to this stage after accomplishing all the things that Steph has done, and it's still not enough. So let's keep enjoying him while we can. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? Uh, there could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially blatant on drives to the rim. And Jordy Fernandez has called a timeout. He wants a minute here to get things... Straightened out with his team. Schroeder outside. Thomas against Heald. Thomas inside. Six to shoot. Over Heald. Thomas, no good. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. And Wiggins throws it down hard. And how about the acrobatics from Andrew Wiggins? Way up that time. Nets trail by three. And here's Schroeder. Right side, Bogdanovich. Back to Schroeder. For three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Now here's Curry. He has seven. Pass to Jackson Davis. Back to Curry. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Claxton. For Brooklyn, they've gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Now Schroeder. Outside Thomas. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis has got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Curry. to Wiggins there's a screen good for the fifth time in five shots he remains perfect yeah, I think there were some toughness questions around Andrew Wiggins not anymore this guy has become a pretty gritty player Schroeder dishes to Thomas overhealed none of the miss and they've really hit a rough catch here Warriors leading by five. Wiggins with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Pass to Heald. Now Curry. Fires for three. Score the basket. His third after five shots. I mean, he's like a magician how quickly he gets that shot off. Was it ever there? 
Brooklyn's gone three of seven from three point range in the first quarter. And we got a timeout here called by Jordy Fernandez. Wants to talk some things over, might be seeing some things to adjust. And Brooklyn making a change here. Simmons is checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Kaminga's checked in. in position. And Claxton throws it down. And how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Warriors? And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. And Claxton, no good on that one. Warriors leading by six. Here's Kaminga. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists in the game. For Brooklyn, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Outside, Simmons. Schroeder against Heald. Claxton sets the screen for Schroeder. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Wiggins passes to Curry. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Simmons with it. Now guarded by Heald. Schroeder staying aware and excellent at going straight into the defense in order to get the foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. Take a shoot. break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. He doesn't get the second one. That's a, a strange trip because typically he's pretty much money from there. All right, Brent, quickly. First thing that comes to your mind when you think of Jonathan Cumming. Physicality, Kevin. I mean, this guy is so dominant athletically that Jonathan Kaminga is a presence out on the floor. If he continues to put himself in the situations where he can put his body on guys and play fearlessly, his game is going to continue to grow. Here's Curry. Bogdanovich picking up that last basket. Kaminga, screen on Simmons. Down to five on the shot clock. The offensive rebound kicks it out to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Nets trail by six. Schroeder with the ball. Now guarded by Heald. Curry against Simmons. Here's Finney Smith. Oh, good on the triple. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Jacks up a three. That's good, and that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. This is just not a surprise. Steph Curry is having a massive offensive game. Now, here's Bogdanovich. 13 points in the game. Schroeder looking around. Three-pointer. Warriors with the rebound. Healed outside. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Curry is inside. Bogdanovich on him. 
shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Steph with a great job there of finding the seam and just attacking the paint, trying to get as deep as possible, and he gets a little bit physical with him, but will pay off in free throws. The Warriors have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. Free throw good, Curry. Thomas checked in for Dennis Schroeder. Good on both. Nets trail by 11. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Simmons against Curry. Down low, here's Claxton, and Claxton throws it down. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Curry against Simmons. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Ben Simmons. Clever move by Curry, taking the foul, but still getting the shot off. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And he has been really good here at the free throw line in the first half. good from Stephen Curry and it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line not missing their chances when they get them and both free throws good for Curry There's Thomas with the three. It's not going to go for him. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Warriors. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. And we'll be right back after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a very convincing performance here from the Warriors so far. It just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Such a great way to silence hostile fans who want the up-and-down pace that gets them amped up. Instead, everyone's just standing around watching the free throw game. Simmons and Thomas are their guards. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Nicholas Claxton. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small four. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Brent, would you say the point guard is considered the toughest position to play in basketball? You know, Kevin, I think there's been a massive shift in what the point guard represents in the NBA game. I mean, how many teams over the past couple years that have won championships have played with a traditional setup guard? What we're looking at is duos that can dribble, pass, and shoot and devastate defenses. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Kaminga the pass to Curry. Four on the clock. That three off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Pass to Finney Smith. This one for three. Buries it from three-point range. Finney Smith's got five now. And that pass first nature of Simmons, outstanding at understanding when his teammates are open. Curry finds heel. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Kaminga, no good. 
And that's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin. The Brooklyn Nets wasted no time hiring their next coach, Jordy Fernandez, shortly after the conclusion of last season. Despite his youth, Fernandez has been on the rise after stops as an assistant with the Kings, Nuggets, and Cavs, as well as coaching the Canadian national team. Kevin? You know, D.A., we've been talking about Jordy Fernandez for a long time. Now his big break, and I'm very happy. I know we all are for, for Coach Fernandez. Hey, David, thank you. So it's Brooklyn now. The Warriors making the shot. Pass to Bogdanovich. Laxton, a screen on Wiggins. Here's Bogdanovich. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Ran, it's hard to find someone better, isn't it, than Boyan Bogdanovich if you're looking to space the floor. No doubt about it, one of the better spot-up shooters over the last decade that this league has seen. And Bogdanovich has deep, deep range. So that spacing is going to allow other guys to do their work. This is the kind of guy you want in a half-court setting to make a lot of things happen. Free throw good, Bogdanovich. Solid as they come from the line, Bogdanovich getting there has to give the confidence of the team a little boost. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Warriors leading by three. Pass to Jackson Davis. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That'll be his second foul of the game. Jackson Davis finds Green. Healed with it. Thomas covering. Shot clock at five. Jackson Davis with it. A rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got five rebounds tonight. Thomas with it. Now Green defending. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. The Nets have gone six of nine at the line. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Thomas. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Outside, Green. Heald finds Wiggins. And here is Green. Curry on the wing. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Curry's got 20. Now Curry doing it again. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. And we've got a timeout here called by Jordy Fernandez. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. 
Thomas passes to Claxton. And Claxton throws it down. And the D was there, but it just wasn't good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Not against an athlete like this guy. You're so right, Greg. The defense needs to be more than just there. I mean, and he has to be perfect. Jackson Davis with it. Claxton covering. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. Four-point game. Pass to Thomas. To the paint. He's looking for Claxton and finds him. Golden State's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Green, no luck. Brooklyn's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Outside, Simmons. Bogdanovich, that's for two. Green with the rebound. Now the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Simmons against Curry. Over Simmons. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got his sixth rebound on the night. And Simmons kicks to Bogdanovich. Claxton a screen on Wiggins. Here's Bogdanovich. That's tipped. Green in the high post. Here's Jackson Davis. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Jackson Davis has got 10. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds them. From deep, Thomas hands it from downtown. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And here are the Warriors now following the three-pointer by Brook. It's going by Heal with the drive. And then Heal with the dunk. Yeah, that's a taste of how fearless and confident Buddy Heal can play. Love applying the pressure. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year? 88% from the line. And so it's Brooklyn with it. They trail by six. Simmons passes to Finney Smith. Pass to Bogdanovich. Three pointer. And the Nets, another three. Stretching the floor now. Bogdanovich can hurt defenses from there. Golden State's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Golden State moving it around. to the inside. Heald, and he makes good on the layup. Heald's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, for guards who are young players in the NBA, finishing around the rim is always a focus at this level. Nice job by Heald there. Back to Finney Smith. Inside. Here's Bogdanovich. Good for his ninth make in just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. Here's the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Curry's got 23. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Outside Thomas. Back to Simmons. Fades back. Close contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Embracing the physicality of the game. Simmons is used to getting knocked around a bit on his way up. For Brooklyn, they have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. Oh, 
One shot. And that one misses. Warriors leading by four. Pass to Curry. And he's going up for the alley -oop. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Brooklyn's going to sublime four of four from three-point range since we've gotten in here in the second quarter. Simmons dishes to Thomas. Simmons, a screen on heel. It's Thomas outside. Draymond Green pulls it in. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. They've led by as many as 11 points. A shot by Curry, no good. Thomas gets a wide open look. Nails the wide open jump shot. Thomas got seven points here in this quarter. Golden State's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Pass to Jackson Davis. Here's Wiggins from past the arc. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Wiggins has got 14. And this is why Wiggins' coaches encourage him to shoot it because they know how effective he can be. Simmons passes to Claxton. Now here's Bogdanovich. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Healed against Thomas. Here's Curry. It's sent back down by Simmons. The length. Simmons just overpowering with that reach. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Thomas. Covered by Heal. Just five to shoot. Healed against Thomas. Good D by Heal. Warriors leading by seven. Green with the ball. Healed outside. Shot from 12. And they'll get another chance. Green finds Wiggins. Pass to Jackson Davis. Shot clock at six. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Kicks it out to Wiggins. There's the screen. Here he goes. And Jackson Davis gets it to go. Jackson Davis has got 10 points in the quarter. And nothing to force here. Wiggins patient, and he found the open man. Outside Thomas. Back to Simmons. Pass to Claxton. And the Nets miss again. Golden State's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Green deciding where to go with it. Healed from outside. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. And Simmons kicks to Thomas. Pass to Claxton. Now, here's Bogdanovich, covered by Wiggins. Finney Smith passes to Bogdanovich. Now Simmons. They need this, and Simmons slams it in. Authoritative move by Simmons, throwing it down on the defense. Now, Wiggins. To the middle. Here's Jackson Davis. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Simmons finds Claxton. Back to Simmons. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. Wiggins passes to Heal. And here is Curry. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The Warriors have made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. First 
one falls for him. Both free throws good for Curry. 40 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pass to Claxton. Nets passing it around. It's Thomas on the wing. Adonovich inside. Covered by Wiggins. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Bogdanovich. Here's Curry. He's got 25. From deep. Ah, Steph, perfection from the arc. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And if they keep draining the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. Nets trail by 15, setting the floor for the Warriors. In its small and power forward. It'll be Wiggins and Green. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry and Heal. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five. Six on the shot clock. Here's Thomas. No good on the shot. Good D by Heal. Warriors leading by 15. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. And to me, Draymond Green really embodies the idea of a high IQ player. He can read the opposition, predict where a play is going, and those instincts aren't something that can be easily taught to anyone. Outside, Simmons. Cuts off the pass. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And another basket for Golden State. The Wiggins with a good use that time of the mid-range shot. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, last season, Draymond Green got his three-pointer going again. He said, over the years, my shot took a dive. It was in large part because I couldn't get in and out of my hips. They were messed up. It was getting my movement patterns right. Kevin, my hips haven't been the same in years, but Draymond's are good. And now they've made him tough to deal with. Back to you. Your hips are pretty good, David. I've always said your hip. Floor spacing, always critical. Good point, DA. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. That's one of the best three-point shooters 
And you got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. Pass to Heald. Jackson Davis with it. Now Curry. Guarded by Simmons. Here's Heald. That one drops for him. That's 12 points for Buddy Heald. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Yeah, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Finney Smith kicks to Bogdanovich. Come on, shoot. I swear to Healed against Thomas. Pulls up on the wing. That's short off the rim. Now that's a shot right there. He's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't make. Outside Curry. Here's Jackson Davis. Guarded by Simmons. Offensive rebound. And the wide open shot from Green. Pass to Heald. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Here's Green. Wiggins outside. His three pointers off the mark. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now, here's Bogdanovich. 27 points for him. I like that. Bogdanovich aggressive in the lane, creating his own offense. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Now, how about last season? Made about 79% of his attempts, so those are really quality numbers. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Outside, Green, on the wing, heel. Wiggins outside. Again, Wiggins missing. Mets trail by 19. Thomas with the ball. 11 points in the game. Outside, Simmons. Back to Thomas. It's good with time running down on the shot clock. Thomas got 13. And not sure what you can do with a guy like that. With his handles, he, he can just take defenders to school. Curry on the wing. Guarded by Simmons. It's good. Curry's got 30 points. Here's Simmons. And timeout, Jordy timeout. Fernandez has called a timeout. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy.
Thomas against Heald. Thomas kicks to Simmons. From the arc. That's good from Thomas on the assist by Simmons. 16 points for him. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. To the inside. Here's Heald. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, Heald plays with such drive and intensity at all times that he just can't help but create a foul shot with that opportunity. Shoot two. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. 17-point game. Simmons, a screen on Wiggins. Bogdanovich passes to Simmons. Now Claxton. Lock at six. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Pass to Jackson Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Nick Claxton. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. Nets trail by 16. Thomas feeling it out a bit. That shot off. Good D by Heal. The Warriors have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. And the Warriors miss again. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Curry against Simmons. Pass to Finney Smith. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. We also have to admire the way they've gotten out and run in transition. And they've run wide. They've run their lanes. They've been doing it with a great pace. And that's produced some easy scores. So it's the Warriors now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Curry finds Jackson Davis. Down low. Here's Wiggins. A D by Bogdanovich. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. It's Thomas outside. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Brent, when I think of those title teams of the Golden State Warriors, clearly you think of the Currys and Thompson and, and, and maybe at the top of that list, the importance of Draymond Green. 
Well, there's no doubt, Kevin, that the lean on for Golden State defensively and to be as good as they were on that end of the floor falls on the shoulders and the very capable ones of Draymond Green. I mean, he took on all challengers and elevated the confidence of players like Steph and Clay. So Draymond's defense, elite and leading to titles. Now heel after the missed three from Stephen Curry for the three. And that's good. Buddy Heald for three. Heald's got nine points here in the second half. Nets trail by 16. Outside Thomas. Back to Simmons. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Pass to Finney Smith. Six to shoot. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. Here's Simmons. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Warriors leading by 16. Wiggins outside. Get there, get there. Pass to Heald. Takes the three. Another three for Golden State. Buddy seems to be locked in right now. Results speaking for themselves. Simmons against Curry. Outside, Simmons. Here's Thomas. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Now, here's Curry. 30 points in the game. And he launches it from deep. Simmons pulls it in. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Claxton. Now, Vinnie Smith. Eight points for him. To the paint. And Claxton throws it down. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Curry finds Jackson Davis. Come get it. Thomas against Heald. Here's Green. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big-time effort. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Simmons looking around. To the middle. Here's Claxton. And Claxton throws it down. Can't give Simmons a, a lane like that, especially in these pick and rolls. He is able to thread the needle. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his seventh assist in the game. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Trailing by 17. There's 154 left here in the third quarter. Claxed in the pass to Simmons. Benny Smith with it. They grab their own miss. Claxton. Good. Nice job down low. Claxton's got eight here in the quarter. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Now here's Heald. He's got 22. Back to Curry. Green with a screen for Curry. And it's off from three-point range. Nets trail by 15. And here's Bogdanovich. He's got 29 points. Outside Thomas. Shoots it up. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. In the corner, it's healed. Good on the three-point shot. Heald's got 15 points in just the second half. And these quick hitting plays are great for a quick set shooter. Heald scoring. Curry against Simmons. The three from Thomas. 
The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his seventh assist in the game. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Wiggins. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's the aggressive part of Andrew Wiggins coming out of him, forcing the defender that time to get his hand in there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And he sinks the second. Thomas against Teal. Thomas goes in. Good D by Heal. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Warriors ahead, up by 16. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Now the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Simmons and Thomas are their guards. Bogdanovich out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Claxton in at the five down low. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Nets trail by 16. I see now here's Simmons. Pass to Thomas. Paxton a screen on heel. Thomas outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Thomas got 25 points. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Back to Curry. There's the triple. Traps in the tray. Curry's got 35. <laughs> on another level, Curry is totally ready to duel this one out from the three-point line. And Simmons kicks to Thomas. Back to Simmons. Pass to Thomas from downtown. And it's good assisting on the play with Simmons. 28 points for him. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Simmons against Curry. Now heel. They kick it out to Green. Shot clock at six. Jackson Davis. That shot is off. Good defense by Claxton. Thomas down low. Covered by Heal. And that one, good. And that's where time Simmons out, wants out. to operate as a score. Foul line down. And so Steve Kerr calls for the timeout. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. While the team is up, Coach doesn't want his team to let up. He told the team to finish this game. Do not think this will be easy. We've seen comebacks before. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Healed outside. 
Wiggins kicks to Kaminga. No good from outside. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now here's Thomas. Back to Simmons. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Trace Jackson Davis is checked in for Golden State. Curry against Simmons. Curry passes to Heald. Kaminga sets a screen for Heald. Hits it from three-point range. Heald's got 18 points now here in the second half. Yeah, nice to see Buddy Heald. This is where he gets his bread and butter kind of plays, sinking the deep triple. Simmons finds Finney Smith. Bogdanovich up top, defended by Kaminga. Good on the bucket. Bogdanovich has got 31 points. And this is where Bogdanovich's value is. He's able to score in a variety of ways. Curry against Simmons. Heald with a screen on Simmons. Curry can't get it to go. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Finney Smith passes to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. Outside Thomas. Back to Simmons. That's the new screen on Curry. No good from Simmons. Warriors leading by 12. Curry kicks to Kaminga. Outside Curry. Sinks the triple. Curry's got 38 points. Well, that's good teammate stuff right there. Looking for your guys. Buddy Heald has a strong feel for when to give it up. Outside, Green, pass to Curry. Kaminga sends a screen for Curry. They get it back. And Kaminga throws it down. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Here's Finney Smith. The Nets working the ball around now. Thomas gets the bucket. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Simmons against Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Jackson Davis with it. Heeled outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Nets trail by 15. Outside, Simmons. And here's Bogdanovich, defended by Kaminga. Thomas against Heald. Wing shot on the way. Shot clock reset for the Nets. Thomas gets the bucket. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Curry. Kaminga, screen on Simmons. Here's Curry with the three. Rebound, Brooklyn. Outside Thomas. He had Simmons atop the key. Healed against Thomas. Claxton sets the screen for Thomas. Driving in. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one is on heel. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Free throw good from Thomas. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Sport. 
So one for two that time at the strike. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Simmons finds Finney Smith. Swatted away. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Outside, Simmons. Down to five on the shot clock. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. free throw missing he hits the second from the line Nails the third. Here's Curry. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Curry's got 40 points. Well, Steph's willing to hurt you from the mid range. Look, if you're going to be that open, he's going to take the shot. Here's Thomas, and he drives in. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Curry. Here's the three. And the Warriors get it back. Three-pointer, Heal Bangs home the trifecta. heald has got six in the quarter. Yeah, watching Heald shoot is quite astonishing. He does a great job of establishing his feet as a foundation for his three-point shot. Now here's Simmons. Laxton a screen on Curry. The 11-footer. They get the rebound. Thomas inside. Covered by Heal. Five to shoot. Goes back up. Thomas' shot is off. Warriors leading by 15. Here's Wiggins. Tries again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Ben Simmons. Pump fake is so devastating, especially for a great offensive weapon like Wiggins. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. They throw good, Wiggins. He's perfect from the line this time. Nets trail by 17. Up top, Simmons. Guarded by Kirk. Back to Simmons. Outside, Bogdanovich. And it's good assisting on the play with Simmons. 
Bogdanovich has got five points now this quarter. Warriors leading by 14. Healed outside. Curry setting the pick for Heal. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Down low. Here's Claxton. And Claxton throws it down. Now catching the lead pass at full speed. Terrific anticipation. And the delivery on time, on target. Now here's Curry. Healed outside. Higgins outside. It's Curry outside. Thomas grabs the rebound. Thomas got his fourth rebound in this one. Great T that time from Green. The Warriors shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And the fire that Draymond Green plays with I think is the most admirable quality. Knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long grinding 82 game season. Shoot two. That's good from Green. Second free throw, no good. Nets trail by 13. Outside, Simmons. Pick by Finney Smith. But try by Simmons. Off target with the jump hook. Wiggins passes to Curry. Outside, Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, Draymond Green must be feeling good because no hesitation in that one there. Letting it rip. Now here's Thomas. Finney Smith finds Simmons. Inside. Here's Bogdanovich. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Bogdanovich has got seven points for the quarter. And putting some muscle behind his play, Bogdanovich goes right through contact. Here's Curry. Not going to go that time. Good defense by Claxton. Here's Thomas. Good D by Heal. Warriors leading by 14. Curry with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Pass to Jackson Davis. Golden State moving the ball around. Green dishes to Wiggins. Let's the three fly. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. No, oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Now here's Thomas. Here's Claxton. And Claxton throws it down. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Warriors. They simply ran them off the court. They set the pace, and their transition game was executed flawlessly. Here's Wiggins following the bucket by the Nets. From outside, off the mark. Simmons against Curry. It's Thomas on the wing. To the inside, Finney Smith passes to Claxton. Shoots over Jackson Davis, and it's blocked. Simmons against Curry. Wiggins outside, back to Curry. Pass to Jackson Davis. To the middle, here's Heald. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And that's now 33 points for Buddy Heald. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, 
fully in control for this win. Now here's Curry. Outside Green. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Nick Claxton. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Curry. Who's got Simmons? Outside Simmons. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us, and we'll see you next time.